Let's go back to 1666. The city of London. A different place than it is now. But even then, it was the centre of England's trade and finance. In the wee small hours of Saturday, September the 2nd, a fire started in Pudding Lane. Right about there. Most people think it started in Thomas Fariner's Bakery. There's no place like London. There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and the vermin of the world inhabit it, and its morals aren't worth what a pig could spit, and it goes by the name of London. At the top of the hole sit a privileged few, making mock of the vermin in the lower zoo, turning beauty into filth and greed. I too have sailed the world and seen its wonders. For the cruelty of men is as wondrous as Peru But there's no place like London fire burned for four days. It was a total calamity. All the houses in London were so close together, which is a very good thing for escaping. But it also helped the fire to spread. The houses were made of wood, so the fire gobbled up one house and moved quickly to the next. We need to tell somebody about this. I wish someone would invent the telephone and the fire brigade. They tried desperately to put the fire out. As well as pouring water from buckets, they used water squirters, which were a bit like giant water pistols. They also used very basic tools. People had to pump really hard to spray the water out, and they didn't work very well. Finally, King Charles II sent the Duke of York with the army and they exploded buildings to stop the fire from spreading. The whole city was a ruin. Almost all the buildings were destroyed or damaged. You could see clear across the city from wall to wall. Despite the destruction, by September the 6th, the city was back at work and Parliament resolved to rebuild it, bigger and better than before.
celebrate, a man called Sir Christopher Wren and Dr Robert Hooke built a tall pillar called the Wren Monument. A monument is a statue that's built to remind people about important events that have happened. 